Hello everyone, how are you doing? Hope you are doing great, great. And just make sure that everything is great. Yeah, we are doing another live stream. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. Uh, we're going to do some uh, basic blending. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're not going to do something too basic. So I was on an art session and I saw this piece here, which looks superb. It looks really amazing. It's by Paul uh, Chadis. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the name, but uh, I'm going to leave a link in the chat if you want to check out his work and uh, just look at this piece. Let me give him a like as well. And there may be a follow too. So yeah, I saw this piece and I thought this seems uh, like something fun to do. It uh, introduces a few challenges like uh, creating these details. By the way, uh, actually, let me do that before I even get into this. Uh, so this piece here looks super amazing, but making it from scratch is really, really difficult, uh, especially if you're going to add in these uh, small details. But uh, one way to make the process much easier is if you have an add-on uh, like the random flow uh, add-on. Uh, so as you know, like a, a TV program, uh, the channel is only able to stay alive because of advertisement. So I'm going to do a quick uh, promo for, for anyone who is market for Blender add-ons. This is a random flow. It's an add-on that uh, makes it easy to let me just show you, play you the trailer here, just making these things here, makes it much, much easier. And uh, I'm not going to be using the add-on uh, for this process because I want to do this uh, from scratch without using any add-on so that anyone who can't afford to get the add-on uh, can do it uh, directly. But uh, having the add-on is surely going to make the process much fun and uh, much easier. Hello, someone. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, you're going to be creating this without using the add-on, but uh, if you had random flow, it just makes the process much faster, much easier, much fun. You can see how you can randomly cr generate these uh, small details uh, quite easily by just a few clicks. Again, we're not going to be using uh, the add-on. Uh, we're going to be doing this from scratch. I just wanted to put this out there if you are in market for something like this. And uh, also make a, a small commission out of that. And uh, it keeps the channel alive and uh, the content are free as well. Yeah, so that's one add-on. I usually like to promote uh, two to three add-ons uh, before I get into it so that anyone who wants, who is in market for such add-ons, I may be able to get that. Another add-on I want to promote is Sci-Fi Elements, which is an Hello, Crumble Jumbo. Hello, I just joined. How do you get this? I don't you go to Blender Market. Uh, there is a link in the description of this uh, uh, this video or this stream uh, so you can get it. Another add-on I want to promote is Sci-Fi Elements. This is exactly that. It's just uh, a lot of elements uh, that you could add into your uh, sci-fi piece if you are creating a sci-fi piece. There is also a City Road Builder by the same guy, Rizzy Clutch, nice, awesome guy. Uh, actually, my neighbor in the same country. Uh, so this is just a city a road generator that uh, you can use to generate city streets uh, with lights and everything. All the links are going to be in the chat, in the description, sorry. Yeah, so now that that is out of the way, uh, let's try and make this art piece. Uh, you see me, I don't like seeing myself, man. But uh, uh, anyway, so yeah, let's try and make this piece again. Uh, if you want to check out this artwork, it's, uh, the link is in the chat. But uh, yeah, let me, hopefully he doesn't mind me copying or using his artwork as reference. Uh, because every artist does that. Uh, we always use other people's work as uh, inspiration. So that's exactly what we are doing here. So let me grab this have it here and let me go to my layout uh image sometimes i'm confused what layout i want to use let me use this let me use uh, this okay 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 let's uh, get into it i think uh, let me let me use a much cl a close up image is uh, much fun i like this copy actually i just need to Save and uh, just bring in here. Okay, so let's try making something like this. I'll bring on uh, my shortcuts. Shortcuts, shortcuts. Hmm. Don't have that. Anyway, let's start it. Let, let's, let's, let us get 
started. Uh, so we can uh, create the same. Sh Instead of using creating a circle, let's make ours to be in a kind of a rectangular shape. So I'm going to add a plane skeleton on the X, extrude it in, and just let these faces set up my camera, I think, around here. Like that. And I, I think I can give it a solidify modifier. If you're using the quick functions add-on, which is yet to, I haven't published it yet, but uh, let's use shift Q uh, modifiers. And uh, let me add a thickness. Uh, that's just going to give me uh, the thickness there. And uh, can uh, let me increase. Uh, let me apply the scale as well, just a bit. Uh, let's use cycle. So what is going to matter most here is our lighting. So let's set that up uh, really quickly. Uh, we want to have an emissive surface at the back. Let me change my viewport shading to random here. Again, I'm using the quick functions add-on. Like that. Bring this around here and uh, create a new material. And let me use, um, let me use, let me add a shader, emission shader. And I just use that. Again, if you are using the quick functions add on, again, I haven't published it yet, but uh, I should have published it. It's, it's, it should be available on my Patreon. So, uh, the quick functions add-on is different from the asset library. I'll, I'll explain this in a, in a different video, I guess. Anyway, so let's have this. And uh, going to bring the emission up and switch to cycles here. And just uh, do something like that. Have this like that. Uh, there should be a... Uh, yeah, we can use uh, the same bluish light. Let me turn on denoising. Have you put denoising here? Uh, like that. And then uh, we need some kind of... A, we need a sun at uh, not too bright. Like that. Now, let's see how we can generate these pieces here. Again, we can use, let me see, if I start with uh, a cube like this, let me add a, 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 a bit of a modifier like that, apply the scale. And uh, I'm going to turn off hardened normals a bit I like that. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to see a way of making these details, small details. And uh, we're going to use a particle instancing. Hello, Burning Bright. How are you doing? How are you, um, brother? How's everything? Yeah, by the way, if you're just getting in, uh, we're trying to make something like this. Hello, Levin Zach Zachary. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to just make a few uh, details, just random details like that. Everything's fine. Ah, oh, great, great, great. Amazing. Get rid of that. Uh, Raise your ear. Hello, what are you going to do with your low polies? Uh, so my low polies are available on my Patreon if you want to get them. And uh, I, I never know when I will use my assets. But uh, when I'm making uh, projects, I reuse them 
and I don't know if I can use it. I don't think I'm going to be. Yeah, so I just make them to for sale on my Patreon and uh, my uh, CG Trader store, but I also u use them in different projects. Like I've always used in uh, other projects. So, yeah. Now, for this, I don't know if I want to use the... I don't know if I want to use uh, the uh, the particle system, the hair system, or uh, the, uh, the... The what? How is it called? Or the geomet or geometry nodes are to distribute these instances onto uh, the grid. Uh, but uh, let's try with uh, the with geometry nodes and then see let me first get rid of this face are those details can be uh, create can be created using Voronoi texture cells are uh, the materials yeah yeah that, that's true that's true you can uh, do that do that uh, so what burning bright is talking about is uh, if you use let me get a noise texture uh, noise text is it no a Voronoi texture Voronoi 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 texture let me add let me add mapping shift Q uh, this this uh, pie menu is available if you're using the quick functions add-on uh, so the, what he's talking about let me change this to object uh, there is the Manhattan pattern uh, kind of creates some good details if you change I think if I change this to a constant let me first turn off my heater if I turn this shift a uh, if you add a, a math node and I change this to cell uh, yeah you can see we get those kind of boxy and uh, if you change so that's one way to do it and that uh, you would just need to add okay. let me see vector bump is it what you're talking about here I like this so you use the Voronoi texture uh, to to get like a base a static, a w some small details in so you get those uh, patterns uh, the issue with this is that uh, these de details because they are non surface details they don't uh, add they, they don't generate shadows they don't cast shadows or they, they are not they don't do self shadowing so that's why you say I want to add in the geometry detail directly add the detail directly using uh, geometry but uh, this is also a nice way to kind of add in on top of the geometry detail. Yeah. And how do you make rusted metal detail? A uh, rusted metal detail you can use. Uh, you can use. Uh, do I want to get that? Get into that? Let me let me just quickly show it. I mean, this this is the purpose of uh, live stream so that uh, I can answer your questions much easier. Okay. So a rusted metal. Uh, this is going to work best if you're using cycles so if you have a surface like this I don't know if uh, this would be the yeah this a surface like this let me unpause uh, let me isolate this uh, add a new material that uh, let me bring in uh, of course you need uh, so that's what you you meant yeah yeah it's, it's, it's a way to, to add some detail and I think I'll be using that as well on top of the geometry a detail that uh, we're adding in. So uh, to make a, ru a rusted surface uh, using a cycles, uh, you can use the pointiness node. So shift A. Uh, do I have a geometry? I think shift A input geometry. You can use the geometry and I just go to the pointiness and add shift A add uh, what should I add? You add a car ramp let me just use QQ Q, car ramp uh, just to easily access those nodes now this is just going to give you a sharpness mask like that now you can use this 
to mix different materials or different textures. So, so for example, if I use, if I import in a texture, I'll go to my resources, I'll look for some Rust texture, so I'll go to details. I think I have Rust somewhere, a Rust texture somewhere. Let me get, da, 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 da. Huh. I should have, uh, um, mm, 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 mm. Rust, Rust wall. Yeah, there is this rust, but there is also this uh, red rust surface. Yeah, let's say something like this. So when you have uh, this, let me preview this for a second. So you can see how that looks. If I mix this with a uh, color, actually I can just use my quick function add-on uh, to blend, to mix these together. Let me preview uh, this node. You can see, if this is uh, the factor, let's say the original color of this was, I don't know, blue, and now it has rusted a bit. You can see you can just use a geometry nodes and a geometry node and a car ramp uh, to do that to add in some rusted uh, surface. I think I have a good video. I, I, I think I have a video about that. So let me see. Adobe uh, channel one on one. Rust. I, mm, I don't. Yeah, I thought I had a video on that, but uh, yeah, that's. Uh, let me see that. Yeah, you can also watch this. It's also a good way to take you through that. Yeah, or this here is also a good video to take you through that. There's a very cool website uh, that generates sci-fi details. I don't remember. Yeah, I know, of, I know of that, I think. It creates uh, height maps. Yeah, I, I, know, I know of that. I just don't, rem I don't remember the, the name of it as well, but, uh, which is unfortunate. Anyway, so let's continue here, making these details. Where is my detail? So, again, we are trying to create a scene like this. J just placement, JS placement, yeah. Is that it? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Ah, because it generates, yeah, this is exactly it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, it creates height maps uh, that uh, can be used to displace uh, the surface. But I, I think you would need a very dense mesh uh, for that uh, to create this kind of displacements. Um, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a great add-on. Very good. Uh, but uh, for, for something like this, I think the random flow add-on, which I just showed, uh, sh sh is the best way to approach this, but uh, we don't. I don't want to use add-ons right now because I just want to show people how to do it. Uh, so yeah, uh, no problem, Rizo Air. Hello, Inferno. Hi. Okay, so let's continue with uh, with uh, adding these details. I think I'm going to use uh, geometry nodes uh, for this. So let's uh, grab this, move it to a collection called uh, details. Grab this element. Uh, switch to geometry node. Create a new node tree, and uh, what we need is a collection. So I'll grab uh, this collection here, and uh, also we will need an instance, instances on uh, instances. On, where is this? Points, yeah, points on on faces like this. This will generate a random particles onto the surface. Uh, the density is quite high. So we can bring this a bit down uh, like that. And uh, then we can do uh, an instances on point, instance on point. So we can instance the geometry onto uh, the point. Uh, like so. And uh, uh, let's try the rotation and see. That's 
that's not going to do it I can already see how the surface looks at uh, the scale I want uh, to randomize the scale so I'm going to get a random so I'll hit F3 random random value uh, let me just go under utilities uh, random random value and I, I want a vector uh, actually I don't want a vector mm, do I want a vector a random vector I want a random float fit that into here and that should give me a random uh, vector like that and uh, you can already see the piece is coming together without even doing a lot of work we have only created a few elements and uh, uh, still uh, this is actually I, like, I even like how this is coming out without uh, doing much hello zigzag how are you doing glad to see you hello pak lang how are you okay let me first pause uh, the render a bit here okay so this is what we have and uh, i want it to be on I also want the original geometry to be there so I'll find a join geometry and a geometry join geometry and bring the original geometry onto the surface uh, like that what I don't understand is why are uh, these instances are, are located at a different emphasize this apply scale Happy New Year, man. Ah, Happy New Year, too. So you mean I haven't heard from you zigzag since last year? Because I, th I thought I, I've heard from you for after the New Year. Anyway, okay, so let me see. Why am I getting origin? If we get original instance. So let me look at uh, my points here and see so if I just preview this for some reason the I have a problem with the curve modifier I don't know why it doesn't work well yeah the curve modifier has some issues as also I, I've also ran into so it's not just you it is not just you I'm really not sure why this is not on the surface of this big instance. No, separate children. points on faces I think we yeah points on faces that's what we want but for some reason though this piece looks cool here it's not what I really wanted so I'm not sure why it is uh, this way let me look at uh, this and see if I bring this up Okay, I think this might be some kind of bug because I, I don't expect I expected these to be instanced on the surface directly, but for some reason they're not. But uh, we're still getting an amazing piece, which I'm okay with. I'm going to have this there. Duplicate this a bit. And uh, just add where is my light we should have a light yeah uh, this light in the back here just make it larger there calculate normals recalculate normals so that did something but uh, it didn't fix the issue. Yeah, I've applied this. Anyway, this still looks cool, so I'm not complaining. Okay. 
Okay, uh, someone is knocking on my door, but uh, nah, it's okay. Amy. Anyway. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think I like how this is coming up. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me make sure that I'm saving this. I'll call this, uh, I don't know, ship. Make sure that my audios are still good. Anyway, so, yeah. Yo, thank you for subscribing, jo Joy Mushoki. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, what I need is uh, also... Let me see, how does this look? I think we can also make another one of these. Push this in the back. And let me try. Nah. Let me go to the original mesh here. I don't know. I'm going to remove the bevel because uh, the bevel is uh, quite heavy and uh, it's making uh, the entire system laggy. So let's just use a few of these details like that. Get this back, this back, this back. Let's see. Yeah, so one thing that we could do is uh, come back to the mesh and uh, start texturing it, give it some material. Uh, so I'll go here. I'll go to the shader editor. Let me first look at this. So this is how this looks. I also want a light inside there in the back. Uh, I think you don't face this back in particle system yeah 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 in particle system it would just instance but i think I'm, I'm liking the look of this so what i can do i want this to be textured so i'll bring in anime texture let me see what texture can i use i can use this or some sort of metal surface you know, something like this And if I preview uh, this, uh, let me use object mapping. So shift Q, add mapping. I'll change this to object mode. Yeah, something like that. And uh, let me also add a mix RGB and just let me connect this to the base color like that and preview uh, this node so you can see like that and uh, let me also connect this to the metalness but uh, I want to add shift no 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 Shift Q car ramp just to control what part is metallic. Great portfolio on art station. Ah, thank you, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. I rarely update that, so those are works from a long time, I think. You know, there's just a lot of platforms to keep track of, so I rarely do. Anyway, so I want to have a mask like this. So that should be a metal surface. Make this quite reflective like that. And uh, I think these, if I get rid of this, 
all of this except the the light should have at the same material control l let's see yeah something like that now we are lacking uh, that visual interest in the inside so what i'm going to do is just grab an area light uh, make sure that it's not inside other details collection so and uh, i think this is also another bug okay blender is even hanging why why not use js displacement as a base color why not let's go for that uh, so js displacement let me get it and see Okay, so I see. I think this is a bug because I've removed this area light from the details collection, but uh, it's still being instanced in the geometry nodes. So let me try and refresh the output. Yeah, you can see when you refresh the output, it uh, disappears. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to uh, the download. See where is my download? Yeah, I was using IDM. Do you know about Dream UV? I think I've heard of it, uh, but I have not used it before. Uh, that's pretty fast internet connection. It's also expensive internet connection as well. Uh, so I, I think it's, it's about 40 up and uh, 40 down. Okay, so this is JS. I'm not really familiar. Let's see. Uh, dot grid. Let me see. Generate. Hmm. This looks interesting. So you just, I've seen it being used before, but I've not really used it myself. It, it's, it looks very self-explanatory. Let me use the classic and see generate. Okay. So this is a good pattern, but I, uh, Let's see now. Let's check. Mm. Yeah, something like that. Uh, let me s save. I uh, want save color. And save it on the desktop. Do they have a height? So I can save the height. I can save the normals. Save. Let me save the normal as well. And should I save the height? So they have save height, save colors. But uh, yeah, we're not going to use the height. So from here, let's go back to the shader. I'll create a new material here. Uh, I'll create a new principle and uh, I'll use so I have saved this on the desktop new folder so this is our color so I'll bring that in let's also bring in the normal here now let me connect the normal the normal to the normal like that. Now let me preview, make sure that I'm previewing this node. Make sure this is also non-color. 
non color data why don't you put an area light with blue color in the back of the scene yeah i'm going to do that i just want to figure out this here let me unwrap this uh, use cube projection yeah you can already see the patterns i'm not sure if they come through uh the youtube compression but uh they're there and uh, now let's connect the base color uh, let me see what resolution or oh, is this so this is 8k that's quite a lot and it's just going to uh to slow down my pc let me use a uh, 2k just resize the images here uh, let's go to the normal uh, 2k so if your text if your shaders are very slow and you're using arch uh, textures reducing the resolution can help so quick functions base color let's see now so that's how it looks and let me make sure that i'm using object mapping for this shift q add mapping let me connect this as well you can you can save point pattern uh, to drive light mask yeah, i think uh, we can do that yeah, i think we can do that so this is how this looks uh, this is supposed to be object mate what's the project you have what's the project you are working on yeah we're just trying to recreate something like this this art piece something similar to this not exactly this but we're just driving our inspiration from uh, this uh, this is a piece by paul Chadeson. I'm trying to create uh, something this uh, similar. So that's how it looks. I, I don't think I'm very fond of uh, that look. So I'll just use uh, the shader we have just created ourselves uh, because I think it looks much better. I like that. It gives you a much richer detail man your accent is like is like a bit indian <laughs> yeah i guess it is uh but i uh, know it's uh it's ah, yeah most accents are uh, that are known of western accents do sound similar a bit good morning sir happy 22 all what we at what are we up to i'm animating tank trucks tank trucks yeah you should uh, show me some some of what uh, you managed to do because uh that's tank, tank, uh, tank trucks are very hard to admit because you need to do rigging uh, that is an african accent are you going to ghana kenya y yes it's uh it's not it's i think it's an accent that uh, is uh it's it's, uh, it's an accent for non-english uh native speakers because you have heard dutch people speak and uh, their accent is not that different uh, from ours <coughs> okay so yeah a light in the back here so let's grab this area light i'll rotate it let me first pause this How's your day been? Ah, it has been great. Uh, as long as my stream goes fine, uh, my day always end, uh, ends up going, uh, being great. If I have a great stream, that is always a good day. And uh, today, today's stream is uh, great. Seems fine. Everything seems to be going great okay so we have added a light let's see how that is going to look i think the light needs to be a lot more powerful though i don't think this is actually a light causing this this is more of a, a volumetric 
uh, effect than a light effect. So increasing the power is not really helping that much. So I am the captain now. How's your day been? Uh, your art is incredible. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, so I think we can use, uh, let me add a cube, a volume object or a volume shader instead of a light uh, to create that glowy light effect. So I'm just going to bring this in, just shape it uh, to the size of our ship or whatever this is, uh, like that. So something like that. And I'm going to create a new material. I'll bring uh, a job in tree. Let me get a uh, shift a input geometry and i think i need a separate x y z so i'll bring actually i don't need the i need a texture coordinate mapping so shift a vector no uh where is that where is that is it under input uh it should be you know what? There's a simple way to do that. I can just do Shift Q, add mapping. Uh, I need texture coordinates. So object separate the X and Y. So if I preview this, uh, I want to separate to get the uh, this direction, and uh, I can scale it up by adding. I think if I add a vector math node here vector math vector vector math where vector is there math is there a vector math now nah. i just need a vector vector math scale use the scale so i can make this less gradual and I, then I can also do a vector, another vector math here and use add uh, to change, to offset uh, the position of uh, this. And uh, we're going to use this mask. Uh, the hardest part is going to be getting the space lighting. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But I think if we change the light to have harsh shadows, uh, because in space you usually have harsh shadows because there is no atmos atmosphere to uh, diffuse the light so we are going to try and mimic that so let me add a shader principal volume uh, principal volume here uh, this should principal volume and i uh, should uh, connect this to the volume like that and uh, i shouldn't have an emission what you should have, this should be under the emission strength or emission color. And the strength can be driven by this. Uh, the emission strength is this. And now I can just simply play with the positioning and I think at the scale, let's look at how this looks in uh, cycles. How do you open a camera preview tab? A camera preview tab. You mean this tab here? Uh, you just split your view area and change and just uh, view that through the camera. Strength, color. Oh, uh, the density should be zero, and the emission should be driven uh, by this. Uh, 
Okay, this doesn't seem to render out as I expected for some reason. Let me s change this to one and see. Yeah, I think we need to scale this down. And uh, reposition uh, the gradient. Yeah, like that. And uh, I think we can also reduce the strength to something like 0.2. Yeah, so that we have a glowy effect like that. And then we can change the color using a color mix RGB. Like that. So. Let's preview how this looks. Hello, Abdullah. How are you? Ah, you can see now we're getting that glowy effect. Let me first hide. Okay, that is also not bad if I, if we just have that. Uh, so for the lighting, uh, let's first make this a bit thicker. Uh, the walls a bit thicker. So I'm going to use my increase uh, the solidify uh, thickness. I like that and I'm uh, just going to bring this uh, should I do it like that or should I do it the way it was so unpause this you can see what we have and uh, I'm going to go back to uh, this surface change uh, the material a bit something like that now for the light uh, that has to do with uh, if you want to mimic space light ah good to hear good to hear man if you want to mimic space light what we need to do is uh, reduce the angle so that our shadows are sharp and I uh, just generate so self-shadowing. Uh, the issue I'm going to have here is uh, this here. I want to first see that uh, I have harsh shadows. And uh, we can also add this occlusion. So I'm just going to grab a cube like this. Have it somewhere off screen so that it can create, give us a nice shadow. Just some nice shadowing effect like that. Let me first do this and see. You see, if you have uh, some straight, some harsh shadows, it becomes very easy to mimic uh, the light. Uh, let me change the focal length of this. Pause this. Now, I also have any first reduce on the repeating patterns. Let me see. 
actually we can uh, add more detail to this so if i make this if i apply this uh, solidify modifier come here just add Just start adding more details to this surface. What kind of uh, countries, country songs being uh, playing in the background? Uh, this is music from YouTube. Uh, from uh, the YouTube uh, studio. How are you finding it? Because I am liking it. Anyway, so just adding in some extra details. Like that, and uh, let's unhide uh, the emitter or the our uh, volume object. Let me unpause this. Or something like that. Now, to make this look more fun, yeah, let me first make sure that this shadow is uh, very large. So, just going to grab this, grab it on the. Uh, something like that. So, so that we have uh, an extremely large shadow here let me see if we make this instead of setting it as the emission if we set it as the density you know, I think I like it more like that or if we just have it in a small area instead of having it everywhere. So just some light in the back. Just a tiny bit of light like that. Now, let's add a platform surface just to have a character here standing somewhere for reference. And uh, for that, I'm going to add a plane around the camera. A plane surface. Like this. Give it the same material. Uh, we can also add some guard rails. So just shift D, extrude up, control L, P, add a few subdivisions, and I use a wireframe modifier like that. So we have some kind of a, yeah, like that. Now let's add a character. 
Now, for this, I'm going to use my, let me first close this, my cloth library add-on, which I've just updated uh, to add a few features. So let me get that, the cloth library. I'll show dummy. Actually, let me just show dummy. So she's here. What I want is have her standing. So I want to dress up this character uh, so that we can use her for the scene. Now, if you're using the cloth library add-on, uh, let me first isolate this for a bit, get rid of this. Uh, I've made a few features where you can uh, design your patterns. So let's look for a hoodie. A hoodie sewing patterns uh, just so we can mix dress this character up a little bit uh, let me get something like this so uh, the cloth library add-on just enables you to design your own clothes for your character so this is my own add-on and uh, there should be a link in the chat if you want to get it so let's design something like this uh, I'm going to be very rough uh, because we want to do something very quick so Let's design uh, some patterns here. I'm just going to first start with a hoodie. Let's delete this vertex. And I think uh, this is something like this. Uh, let me round off this edge a bit. Yeah, we're basically making pressing up the character anyway. So fill that in. Uh, so that's our pattern. Now, with the cloth art library, this is version 4, if you have it. Uh, you can go under pattern design and uh, create a pattern or convert this into a pattern. Uh, this will subdivide the mesh uh, like that. Uh, so it's much easier to use it as a pattern. Let me first hide this amateur. Then I'm uh, just going to grab this edge loop. Uh, this edge loop here up to there uh, grab uh, this edge loop like that basically we're trying to create some sewing lines so I'll just do uh, create sewing lines I like that now if I play you can see how easy that is creating a hoodie just play and uh, now I can uh, turn on some gravity, have that play, apply the cloth, and uh, we're doing something basic. So I'm also going to bring this in, just move things around a bit. Uh, let me turn on proportional editing uh, to get rid of the intersecting parts. I just... Let's grab this. Just make sure that uh, we don't have any intersecting parts like that, and uh, re-add the uh, re-add the cloth modifier playback, uh, so so that this settles much better. I think I'm going to give it a slight rotation like that. Apply the cloth modifier again, so that's going to be our hoodie. It's not perfect, but uh, we'll do for now because we're trying to do something simple. Uh, hello, the great reject of uh, NWO. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, uh, anyway, so let's create this part. I'm just going to add. I want to create the shirt itself. We start by creating the pattern design. I think this is a faster way to create to dress up your characters. And just design this piece here. Turn of proportional editing. Grab this and uh, this like that. Yeah, something like that. Shift D, have this side uh, for the back, uh, which should be much wide, I think, as a pattern. You can also just look up uh, different pattern designs. Let's duplicate this, have it somewhere here. Grab this like that. Shift D, move this out to this side, maybe give it a slight rotation. With the add-on, you can use uh, convert to pattern, and uh, that should subdivide the mesh. 
make it easier uh, to, to work with. Now let's generate some scenes. I'll select this up to here uh, because I want to this to be connected to this. I use our, our la 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 create sewing lines. Now if you see this, hey, thank you for subscribing, uh, Richard Hoover. Thank you, thank you. Great job, thanks for the tutorial. I'm forcing myself to learn Blender. Learning is not a good skill of mine, uh, but great tutorial. Yeah, you'll get there, man, you'll get there. Uh, new world order. <laughs> I see, I see. See what you mean. Okay, so then uh, let me first grab this piece here. Control L. To create is this night sky, use noise texture. Uh, scale it 3000, caram, caram, mobla, caram. Hmm. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. So, uh, but let's first dress up the character because we need a character for this scene. Uh, for this to look amazing uh, so let me grab this edge and, and uh, let me first see this edge up to this uh, create sewing lines uh, like that grab this vertex and this and that create sewing lines like that now if we hit play we get somewhat uh like a shot but uh our swing lines are not matching up very correctly because i wasn't too accurate hello Aki akibi thanks for subscribing really appreciate that how do you get uh the realistic look uh looking at the building it has the photorealistic look which which building uh, if you're saying, if you're talking about this, or the one in the reference image, yeah, that's that has to do with uh, your texturing. Yeah, so my sims don't line up correctly, so I can always go, come back to this, and uh, all the sewing patterns we have just created are here. So I can select this sewing pattern, either remove it like that, or let me first undo this. Let me first bring it back, or try to. But uh, for this, because we're try trying to create a very simple piece, I'm not going to be too worried. Uh, let me create a new sewing line there. Yeah, you always want to have your seams like that instead of having this uh, zigzag pattern. Uh, this means that uh, they are lining up correctly, uh, which makes the sewing much better. So something like that you can see. But because this is a simple shot, I'm not too worried about uh, making it look super perfect. Uh, I think... Hmm, we need something uh, for this part. So I'm just going to select uh, this edge up to there. Shift D to duplicate it like that. Extrude uh, like that. And I can add subdivisions like that. Shift D, duplicate it on the other side like that. My output looks like 1990s CGI I made with Nintendo 65, <laughs> 64. Yeah, it's, uh, it has to do with uh, your texturing, maybe. Let me sew that. Select this. Uh, create a sewing line uh, there. Select this, select that. create sewing lines like that, playback, and we have something like that. Uh, okay, I didn't sew the back side here. Create more sewing lines. Now, this shoulder area can be a little bit, can be, uh, smaller again i'm not trying to be super accurate with this so yeah let's have this as that and uh, that's going to be our shot i'll just apply uh, the pattern 
and uh, if you want to make things look much smoother uh, before I even weld actually let me weld these get rid of uh, the sewing lines yeah something like that apply recalculate no more uh, this I was just trying to show you how the add-on works and uh, hopefully that was easy show and uh, another thing you can do is if you want to have these seam, seaming sewing lines uh, in the shirt you can just go to edit mode uh, find select the different sewing lines so like this control B uh, bevel it and uh, just select uh, that sewing line push that in uh, let's see select another sewing line uh, like this or like this one here control B like that push that in and you have uh, your sewing lines if you want them and uh, you can also add a shrink a corrective smooth Uh, to smoothen everything up a bit and uh, yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, let's add some pants I already have some pre-made pants So let's add those instead of making them from scratch because that would take uh, a minute Okay, where did I put these? Let me grab this. We can just have her wearing these. But we are going to make it thank you to good people like him teaching. Ah, thank you. Hello, Shake. How are you doing? Okay, so we have the pants. And I'm not going to spend too much time on the pants. Let me just sculpt them a bit so that uh, they fit correctly. So just a bit uh, like that. And I think uh, that's good. Uh, object mode. Let me just join this into a single mesh. Control P with automatic weights. Now we can give this character a pose. Yeah, you know, I forgot about the hoodie, but uh, yeah, let me just also join it to this and uh, make sure that uh, Just have one question right is ryzen 5g is good for blender without gpu well uh, uh, i'm not very versed in ryzen hardware so yeah i'm not sure uh, let me, let's set up our character rate this guy 90 degrees like that give her a nice pose Yeah, something like that. Uh, let's change. Let's make this a bit. Let's see what's going on here.
I want to make an Iron Man cave clip uh, in 3D for it. Hmm. What is stopping ya? Okay. Yeah. The pants. Okay, it's just reflections. I thought uh, they look a bit torn. Okay, so that's our character. Uh, I don't like how light is hitting her directly. So I'm going to just add more shadows here. And I think we need to have more pieces. Make us unhide. Maybe scale her up a bit. And uh, just have her closer to the camera. And let's change our framing a bit. Uh, what else can we add? I'm going to go to my asset library and uh, let me see, do I have anything linked? Let me go to my uh, resource libraries. Let me link my uh, view links pack, link my uh, view links parts and uh, also link my, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> I mean, link my, 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 uh, deco, deco, deco park, kit bash, yep. Might need that. And uh, my decos. Okay. So, let me go to my kit bash. A stars okay let's let's do stars so for the stars as you said i uh, just need uh, to grab a texture a convert texture noise texture texture noise texture like this and uh, you can already see the star the the clouds but uh, because this is a sun this is a <laughs> space we don't have uh stars so if I remove this actually, that is just that. The scale has to be, you said 300? Yeah, something like that. Yes. Now we can cut off some stars. Yeah, so the stars may not be very visible uh, due to compression, but uh, YouTube compression, but uh, they are there. I, I just don't want to have too many of them. So, yeah, that's how you do stars. And the thing I want to do is try, I try playing with uh, the look here. So I'm going to activate curves here. So this is a function. Uh, this is something new. Uh, this is an add-on. Oh, my camera has died. Uh, that's okay. We can just continue here. Okay, so I want to play with the colors. So I'm using my uh, look dev option in the quick functions add-on just to play with the colors a bit. I think I like that kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, that look there. Yeah, what I don't like is 
are the contrast uh, that comes with it. So yeah, just a tiny bit of contrast. Something like that. And uh, you can always turn them off. Hmm. So that's a quite a big difference. I don't know which like look I like most. I, to create easy, uh, okay. Uh, I show you a video making a short film. Film. I like your ideas. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tell me something, some tips about making about cave garage looking ideas. Uh, a cave. Maybe I'll, I'll create a, a live stream on that and see explore that topic as well. I play with the cloth color. Okay, let's try something brighter for the cloth. Let's try orange and see. Maybe. Let's see if we do this without this. Ah. Let me grab this. Also, make this geometry nodes unique. Let me see if I go back to geometry node and uh, just reduce the density. Of this, actually, I want Not sure why the scale also is also moving the objects, uh, but Just trying to adjust uh, this a bit. Let's use a vector. Things have changed drastically. Ah, 
Ya oke. Okay. Let's grab this. Yes. Add some more details. Just make this thing look more grander, more bigger. Hello, Lutalimoa James. How are you doing? How are you? As everything? Okay, I'm going to grab this face here. So we can make things. Look more detailed like that. And uh, uh, because we are using geometry nodes and uh, we are using our collection, what we can do, we can go to the asset library. I'll switch to my kit bash and look for some kit bash items. But I don't want to use anything high poly because that could cause a few issues. Actually, I don't even need to do that. Uh, let's just make uh, the slow, the stop, the flow uh, that this, uh, the character is standing on to be more, a little bit more detailed. And I uh, shouldn't be In here, Things are getting a bit slower. I just need to populate this, make it look more detailed.
Let's add more stuff. Maybe let me add uh, this kind of street lamp. I'm not sure why it, what it, why it would, it would be in uh, a place like this, but I'm adding it. And I think I can also add it as a detail up here. You push back the camera a bit even further and see. like uh, trying to make it look like a massive massive structure and i think someday we should try to do a high quality single gothic style ac asset a stream or series like uh, main entrance doors windows uh, fireplaces modular buildings parts i think we can do that i think we can do that Let's see I think now the issue is just framing this into a more in interesting uh, scene. Let me change uh, the sun direction.
Yo, thank you for subscribing, Geoff Griffith. Thank you, thank you. Scene looks good as is, as it is. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think this platform is uh, not looking very good. What I can do is, I think, let me first get rid of this and try something different. If I grab this, Shift D, and I just make this, turn this into a pathway. So we we'll just get rid of the top faces. And uh, create. A very small pathway. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Uh, I'm not sure how successful we were at it, but uh, yeah, I'm going to call this good. Because uh, we might need to get, let me look at uh, this from different angles. Maybe let me uh, make sure that this is not visible uh, to the camera. So maybe this is uh, some kind of, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, that's it. Uh, tomorrow we can try something different. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you.